Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. In the last episode, we got a few more upgrades and we went through the first mansion, which was Berkeley Mansion, and uh, we got Dracula's Rib, which now I can actually show you what that is. You get a shield. Yep, you get a shield for wearing Dracula's web, Rib. Yeah. Anyway, now we're going to be off to go get the next part of Dracula. So now basically we're going to backtrack just a little bit. And, um... Uh, It, should, it won't take very long. We're just going to backtrack a little bit, and then we'll take a new path to get to a new town and to the next, uh, to the next, uh, mansion. So, basically, it's just a little bit of backtracking. So, just a few screens. Let's back to screen eight right here, and then screen seven. And then screen 7 right here is just going to be, basically here, ignore the staircase. We're just going to go back this way and go to a new screen. Which is screen, this is screen 12. And then just go through here. There's actually a hidden item in here. Remember there was somebody said about a sacred flame? The sacred flame is actually on this screen. You have to uh, break through these blocks right here. Carefully go through all these hordes of enemies. See these? And you just step into it. You now possess the Sacred Flame. Which is actually a new weapon. I'll show it off real quick. It takes off one um, part every time you use it, but... Kind of like the arrows in um, Legend of Zelda. It takes the rupee. Each time you use one of those, it takes a heart every time you use the Sacred Flame, but it's a nice little weapon. Now what is going to hear this is screen 13. And I, and of course they still got the, the Bloody Tears playing in the background, which is really cool because it's like one of the best songs in Castlevania, so. Alright, now this is screen 14. Here we're going to ignore the stairs. We're not going to go down the stairs right now because we don't have the proper equipment for the stairs. So. And this way we're just going to go over here to screen 15. Come on, screen 15. <laughs> And then here, takes us to a new town. This is called Aljiba. Remember there was some guy in there that mentioned we had a friend in Aljiba waiting for us? We got here. And then here, just do the holy water into the, into the floor. And then down here, we just keep going down as far as we can. And there's one of our cloaked men. And uh, this is actually going to be, will you buy some garlic? Yeah, sure. I'm def that's actually going to come in handy. We'll need the garlic for uh, reasons. So. Uh, as long as I got over 200 uh, hearts, I should be all right. All right. Now here, you just enter this next door right here. It's basically the same thing. And then down here, there'll be another of an old woman here, nothing really spectacular, she says, Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. So, we'll have to find Dracula's eyeball, which sounds eh, but that's something we gotta find. 
So now, at, here we just gotta... We can go through the fake wall. Now just over here, just go to the other side. You notice there's not too many people here. It says, buy some garlic. It has special powers. We already bought it. Oh god, now we gotta wait until daylight. Well, I guess I can get some, uh, hearts while I'm at it. Yeah, the enemies are a lot tougher, too. As you can see. I was just hoping it would stay daylight long enough for me to finish up an Algiba, then I can get what I needed and head to the, uh, second mansion, but... Now we're just going to have to wait here for about 10,000 years. But hey, at least I'll get some hearts out of it. Heart grinding's not too bad. And, uh... I'm not getting any experience, though, which sucks, but... I'll just stay here. I'll meet y'all back when we get back to daylight. Okay, guys, we're back. It's daylight again, so yay. And, uh, alright. So here, let's go across to the other side. And go up the stairs. And notice over here there's another door. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the Veros Woods. And of course, there's another one of these where you have to go through the, wall, the floor. And you should get something else down here. Which is going to be very handy too, so you'll definitely need these. Buy some of my laurels. Yes. Laurels actually give you um, invincibility for a short second, which will be coming very, very, very handy through some of these areas that we're going to be going to here in a little bit. So. Anyway, do that. And then up the stairs. Now, here, just run to the left as far as you can. You have anything to say? A laurel will protect you from the poison marsh. Yes, I just said that too. The dead river waits to be freed from the curse. Okay. Keep that in mind too. To restore your life, shout in front of the church. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. We don't no longer need the white crystal, it's just show, but we need the blue crystal to get to the second uh, mansion, so well, you definitely, definitely keep that, but I don't even think this place has a church. So how are you supposed to shout in front of the church if there is no church? So anyway, here, now you did that, we're going to go to screen 17. Did it's a little... That little hand right there, we're going to use one of our, uh, one of our garlics, and this guy appears right there, and he goes, I'll give you this silver knife to save your neck. Basically, it's an upgraded version of the dagger that we got. And which one? Alright, anyway. I can show you I can show you this way a little bit, but it's going to be kind of useless because it's a dead end. Uh, you can try to jump there, but you're not going to make it. So. Alright, anyway. So now we're going to do a little bit more backtracking. Basically here, just head this direction and go... And, um... 
Remember those uh, stairs that we ignored a few minutes ago? That's just, we're gonna take those stairs this time. So we're gonna take those stairs this time. There is one more weapon we can get to that's more powerful than the thorn, the thorn whip, we, uh, the chain whip we have. But that's not until a little bit further into the game. But it'll be very, very, very nice. So, now we're going to take these stairs. And, uh, once you go through these stairs, you go down here, and here, we're going to go through, we have to go through a few more screens. And, uh, but we're getting close to the second dunk. Okay, this way is a little bit easier to go than the bottom way. They ultimately lead you to the same place, but it's probably easier to go this way because of the, uh, you don't have to go through all those moving platforms. All right, now here, this is where you need the uh, blue crystal for. You equip the blue crystal, you crouch down for a few seconds, and that appears. Without the blue crystal, that will never appear and you will just die into the water. Which is strange, but that's what happens. So now just go down this way. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime right now. And here's our second mansion. We went into here, guys. When we come back, it's time to explore the second mansion. The Rover Mansion to get the next piece of Dracula's body. Uh, this mansion, this mansion's a little bit harder than Berkeley Mansion, but it's not too much harder. But uh, we'll uh, go delve into it when we next time on Let's Play Castlevania 2: Simon's Quest. This is DKS3 of the Crazy Gamer signing out.